Like most people, the first time that I heard the word Kazakhstan, nothing came to mind. I had no associations with what Kazakhstan even meant, where it was, who the people were, where it was even located. And that's because Kazakhstan has only been in existence as a country since the 1990s when it left the Soviet Union. Today, Kazakhstan is one of the most exciting and dynamic places on the planet, precisely because it's a place where people are, even as we speak, they are actively inventing themselves, looking to their past, the present, and their future to create a baseline knowledge of who they are, who they have been, and who they want to be. For the past eight years, I've had the extraordinary honor and privilege to serve as a scientific consultant for the Art History PhD program at the Kazakh National Academy of Arts in Almaty. The Academy is training the future of Kazakh arts, whether it be painters, sculptors, dancers, anything that's related to culture, to self-expression, and most importantly, to the reinvention of Kazakh identity. Soon, they will be replacing Soviet sculptures with works by these students. It's all happening here. When members of the Academy began to reach out across the globe, one wouldn't necessarily expect them to look to Texas A&M University to find an art historian to serve on doctoral dissertation committees. But just like people have a lot of misconceptions about Kazakhstan, people have a lot of misconceptions about Texas A&M University. And that's why this collaboration is such a perfect partnership. Because a major theme in my own research is the relationship between art and identity, the Academy thought I would be a good fit as they began to develop their own national art history. One of the most interesting things about Kazakhstan is that they're using the arts in a way that's almost the same way that we did in the early days of the United States, and that's they look to the landscape as a marker of their identity. They used painting to create new types of heroes for themselves. And so the arts played a central role in the formation of American identity in the same way that they're playing a central role in the formation of specifically Kazakh identity today. Art is the mechanism through which I make sense of the world and my place in the world. And because I've found my mechanism, I'm gonna pay that forward. So I feel extraordinarily blessed to be able to teach at places like Texas A&M University and at the Kazakh National Academy of Arts because there are really amazing, globally important things happening at both institutions. I'm Dr. Stephen Caffey. I teach art and architectural history at Texas A&M University, and this is how Kazakhstan is using art to craft its national identity.